everyone. It's a great day for some football here on the 2K Sports Network. Bringing you the action from Steel Mill Park. Playing in their own stadium, we've got the Ironmen. They'll be defending against the Sailors. I'm Dan Stevens, and with me as always, Peter O'Keefe. Let's take a look at today's All-Pro lineups, Peter. Archie Manning and Mel Renfro are standouts for the Sailors. These two guys are unmatched. If you go up against them, you've gone up against the best. Just try to keep them from tearing the game open. It's the best you can hope for. But they won't have it easy, though. They're facing a tough adversary. Dan Marino and Mike Ditka make all the difference for the Ironmen. Simply put, Dan, these are some of the best players ever assembled on one team. Just look at the rest of them. Each one is a star in his own right. Thank you, Peter. They're at the coin toss. Let's go down there. Dan, good to see you. The Sailors will make the selection. What is the call? Give us heads. Heads it is. We want the ball. The Sailors have won the toss and select to receive. Boots it downfield, and we're underway. Renfro downs it in the end zone for a touchback. The Sailors will start the drive at their own 20-yard line. Picks up six on the play, and that will bring up second down. A pickup of six yards on the play. Webb with the tackle. Second and four. For a short loss. You be ready out there. You hear me? The Sailors, 25 yards. He'll get stopped at the line, and that brings up fourth down. Stanley lines up to punt after the three and out. Stanley takes the snap and punts it away. Goal fields it at the 34. Tackled at the 42. Willie Gall racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Iron Men will start the drive at their 42-yard line. to the outside and gets a huge gain. That's a great play, great execution. Let's have another look. Yep, got past the marker and eventually runs out of bounds. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First down, three wideouts in the game. 
Griffin has his number called on first down and will lose about a yard here. Pearson Crywall read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. He's got the first down and a whole lot more. First down, Iron Man. Eddie Wallace used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down from the shotgun. Wallace gets past the line and chews up about four on the play. Let's hold them to three here. Third and four. Marino zips it to the left sideline and they convert on third down. First down, Iron Man. First and goal. Oh, watch the tight end here. He might find a spot in the end zone and look for the strike. Watch this play unfold. These guys are so talented. It's really just amazing to sit back and watch them take care of business. Oh, and I'll tell you what, he takes care of business throughout this play. Makes me want to hit the gym again and maybe, you know, get back down there on the field. the extra point and it's good. Don't get down guys, this is nothing, nothing. When we get the lead, let's get back out there and crack some heads. Rushes this one deep. Renfro is coming out with it. Brought down at the 22. Mel Renfro got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Sailors, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 22-yard line. Snell gets the 
toss and runs into traffic. Lopez stops that one pulled way back there at the 17. Fernando Lopez just pushes him back in time on this one. Big loss, great defensive play. Watch. Oh, it's all about pursuing your man. You got to stay with him, and he did just that to get the tackle. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Second down. 16 yards to go. Tasker catches it in the flat and picks up maybe a yard. Archie Manning made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. Not much available at all, and they will face a third and very long. Yeah, bad few downs for this team, and now they're in a tough situation. You've got a long way to go, baby. Long way to go. Manning lets it go here, and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Charlie Waters came in and got a hand on that football. And left no chance for a reception there. Stanley lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Stanley gets the ball and punts it away. Gold fields the punt at the 41. Jukes dragged down at the 47. Willie Gold got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. men got into the end zone last time they had it and they're looking to do it again they'll start at their 47 yard line Mike Ditka easily outclassed his defender on that catch, and he had that play all the way. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Hey. Second and three from the Sailor, 46 yard line. Wallace takes his fourth carry of the game and gets up field. Stop at the 37. First down. Eddie Wallace sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Marino lofts this one out to the left, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Dan Marino found a hole in the defense. Let's look at this again, because this is what you need out of your passer. Oh, he sees the opportunity and drives the ball home. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you've got it. So far, he's got 64 yards and no interceptions. First down, tight end to the left. Cole makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Nick Cole knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Second and ten.
Marino throws this one right sideline, and it's incomplete. Mike Ditka ran a short route back there and seemed to be open, but he just couldn't make the grab. Disappointing incompletion. Peter, they had an opportunity to convert, but they can't hook up on the pass. Well, I'm not sure they would have. Coach Dawkins is not happy with that call, and he's going to challenge it. The Ironmen are challenging whether the pass was caught and down. Dan, when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds. Oh, there's the catch. He's inbounds. I think they'll overturn this one. After review, the pass has been ruled complete. The catch was made prior to going out of bounds. The Ironman will not be charged with a timeout. Third down. Just a basic little pickup is all we need. And let's get that first. Third and inch from the sailor five yard. Line. Marino throws a bullet to the flat and Eddie Wallace surged ahead to get the first down then quickly ducked out of bounds. Good field awareness. First down and this is the seventh play of the drive. Lots of scoring opportunities right here, Dan. Excellent back, a sure-handed receiver, and an accurate quarterback. Wallace gets the handoff and gets in for the score! And I think this is exactly the right call in those circumstances. They focused on getting just a few yards they needed. Another trip to the end zone, and his numbers are starting to add up. Oh, you bet, Dan. So far, he's got 41 yards and two touchdowns. the extra point and it's good one downfield. Renfro downs it for a touchback. The Sailors have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 20-yard line. Lopez, Jackson way back at the 13. Fernando Lopez gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, D Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Snell gets the call on second down and moves forward for seven. 
Matt Snell played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. They got some, but they'll need more than that if they want to convert on this third down. Yeah, they have a ways to go, Dan. They would have loved a few more yards out of that play. Manning throws a beauty to the right side, and they can't connect. Incomplete. We have a flag on the plate. Let's listen to the call. Neutral zone infraction, number 59, defense, dog yard penalty, repeat, third down. Darrell Austin had crossed the plane made by the tips of the football on that last one, so we got the call for a neutral zone infraction. Third down from the eye. Third and five from the sale, 25 yards. They get the first on third and long. We have a flag on the plate. Let's listen to the call. Pass interference. Number 64. Defense. The penalty is declined. First and ten. Ball at the 38 yard. Anderson picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Fourth carry of the game, and we'll end up losing a bunch here. Tony Nichols is not going to let them get back to the line here. Look how he just rolls into the backfield and just lays out the ball carrier. He's quick, and he knows how to hurt a guy. That's his second tackle so far. a bullet to the flat and caught. However, it's short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. Corey Webb pushed his man off the field with a great defensive effort back there. They got a few yards, but not the first. They stopped them cold. Fourth coming up. Exactly what this defense needed to do. Stanley gets ready to punt it away. Stanley takes the long snap and punts it away. Galt catches it at the 22. Stopped at the 25. It looks like we have an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Wilfred Harrison just got tangled up on that last play, and you don't envy him right now. The Iron Men will start this drive at their own 25-yard line. Hyena! Black! 89! Marino lets it go here, and the ball caught at the 30, and he stopped right there. Dan Marino dissected the double coverage with a pass that was prettier than a stadium full of cheerleaders. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down oh. with the tight end right. Second and five. Ball at the 30-yard line. Toss and takes it 
takes it upfield, tackled at the 37. It will be first down. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First and ten. Ball at 37 yards. McCoy chases him down and makes the tackle just behind the line. Keith McCoy got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. to get free, ground to a halt at the 46. Eddie Wallace made an incredible move and catch against double coverage, Dan. You know, if I'm the coach, I just keep finding ways to get him the ball. Another short, quick strike, and the defense looks helpless to stop this ball control strategy. Yeah, it's a great game plan this offense has been executing, no doubt about it. Third down, just a single receiver on the field. Wallace takes the call on third down and picks up the first down. First down, Ironman. First and ten from your Ironman, 39 yards. Shakir makes the catch on the right sideline and is well past the markers for a first down. Adele Shakir goes to the outside here and picks up some good yardage. It's worth a second look. Nice gain, past the marker and out of bounds. That's a great play. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Marino throws a heater and it's intercepted. Brought down at the 37. Phil Jones has this pass dead to rights all the way, Dan. He's got the interception and enough room to run the ball and give his offense a head start. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Sailors are on the field, and they have not produced well at all. They're looking for an answer as they start this drive at their 37-yard line. Wooden tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Get your head out straight. We can't have you throwing picks. I couldn't get away from the rush. I should have just ate it. Second and ten. Ball at 37 yards. goes right up the middle and scrambles for about five. It'll be fourth down. Corey Webb got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his second tackle so far. Stanley lines up to punt after the three and out.
Stanley takes the long snap and punts it away. Galt fields the punt at the 19. Stopped at the 22. The Iron oh. Men had their last drive stall at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 22-yard line. Gary Clark makes the catch and then adds a whole lot more on the ground. Watch. Reels it in and then makes the D reel with all the yards he's tacking on. They score again and they are starting to pull away here. Yes, they are, Dan. They've got a nice pad now. If they stay focused, this game is theirs. Here's the extra point, and it's good. one downfield. Renfro is coming out with it. Fumble! The visiting team has it. Right down at the 25. The Sailors haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 25-yard line. Jensen picks up about two and that will bring up second down. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Iron Men in command of this one, 21 to nothing. Catches the left sideline and tackled at the 28. Matt Snell got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Throws this one over the middle, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Penalty marker down on the play. Let's listen to the call. Face mask, number 99, defense. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Kevin Tuipala clearly tugs on the face mask here. You just can't do that and get away with it. Check it out. Yep, there's the flag. Definite face mask. That's a personal foul.
First and ten from the sailor, 43 yards. his seventh carry of the game and maybe picks up one on the play. Second and eight. Jensen chews up four yards and that will bring up third down. Third down, five yards to go. Anderson has his number called on third down and gets tackled short of the marker. Fourth down coming up. James Barnett brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. The defense didn't budge on that play, and they force a fourth down. Stanley lines up for the punt. Stanley gets the ball and punts it away. Goal fields it way back at the 10. Stopped at the 13. All right, all right, great covers, guys. The Iron oh. Men are really in command and have yet another shot to score. Their offense takes the field and starts this drive at their own 13-yard line. Pop brings him down behind the line at the 11. Bryce Pop targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle so far. Second and I want to see you tighten up that side of the line. Marino gets all of his arm into this pass, and the big catch is made with daylight in front of him. 15, 5, touchdown! Dan Marino could not have thrown this ball without the big boys up front handling their business. I mean, the O-line is really pulling its weight here, Dan. How much time does this guy have? Whoa, he stuck that one in there for his second TD, as he has been doing game in and game out. Yeah, he's proven today that he is the man. the extra point and it's good the heck out of this one. Renfro pounds it in the end zone for a touchback. Okay, people. I pro 90Z. Quick out. Ready? 
break. Throws him for a loss at the 17. Tony Nichols saw where that play was going right away and stopped it cold for a loss of yardage. A beautiful hit on that one. He really brought some thunder with him. And he rained on the offense's hopes of gaining some yards. In fact, the rest of this drive may get a little overcast. Tips it to the left sideline, and he connects at the 20. Tackled at the 24. Eric Martin faced single coverage there and was able to get by it for the reception. That's how you draw it up. Nice gain, and that puts them in a very convertible third down situation. Yeah, you know, Dan, my last convertible was a 72 Nova. You know, Peter, it's no wonder you were a lineman. <laughs> Puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. A flag is thrown on the plate. Let's see what it is. Pass interference. Number 99. Defense. Roger Kennedy. Automatic first down. Kevin Tuipala manhandled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got slapped with defensive pass interference. First down, two wideouts on the field. Manning throws a heat and it's complete for a gain of three yards. Archie Manning made a good, clean throw. That's a textbook play executed perfectly. They move the ball, and it will be second down. How's that boy, Saints, huh? How's it say? 32 yard. Snell holds in the pass and he's looking for room. Tackled at the 35. Matt Snell is wide open on that play. Makes you wonder if the defensive coordinator wants to keep his job or not. They move the ball and that'll bring up third down. Throws a bullet to the flat, and it's off his fingertips incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Steve Tasker almost brought that baby in, but it was just off his fingers. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Stanley lines up for the punt. Stanley gets the snap and punts it away. Galt catches it at the 24. Tackled at the 30. Really, Galt got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. Let's dig in on this series, fellas. All right. Marino 
Throws this one right side. And it's caught at the 47. And he's stopped right there. Lenny Moore is matched up well with the defense on this one, but is able to stay one step ahead for the completion. It's worth another look here. Oh yeah, the D might want to put more men on him next time. Here they connect with him again. That's the second deep ball he's grabbed today. Well, without an adjustment in that secondary, Dan, I guarantee you he's going to come back for more. is at the 35, eventually tackled at the 34. First down. First down, Ironman. Eugene Henderson sticks close to his blockers here, and it pays off. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First down from the shotgun. First down and will end up losing a couple. Chris Dolman would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Ditka pitches it over the middle, and that's good for six. Mike Ditka had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. These guys make very great targets. Not to mention, it takes a whole defense to bring them down. Well, let me tell you something, Dan. When that bull starts roaming around in that china shop, things get broken pretty fast. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. Marino throws a big rainbow here, and it's tipped incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Mel Renfro came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning and they forced the incompletion with relative ease. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. Boots it from 47 yards out and boots it through. It's good. Keenan Kite really gets the whole ball here and he needed it. Watch. That's a powerful kick for three points, my friend. When he needs to, he can boot that thing. the heck out of this one. Renfro is coming out with it. Great three. Tackled at the 23. Mel Renfro took it out of the end zone and while it may have been a little risky he gets out close to the 20 so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Sailors are fading fast and desperately need to score. Their offense will start this drive at their own 23-yard line. Snell catches it in the flat and gains a couple. Matt Snell stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. 
Second down, two tight ends in the game. Called on second down and gets taken down near the line and actually loses a bit. Corey Webb would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. That's his third tackle of the game. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. They ain't ready for us. 25 yards. Grabs the fastball over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Nine on the play. First down, Sailors. Eric Martin has three guys on this play looking for the interception, but they don't get it. He says, I'll take that, thank you very much. Oh, that's a wonderful catch. The defense should be shaking their heads. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. Anderson picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Penalty marker down on the play. Let's listen to the call. Face mask. Number 99, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Kevin Tuipala clearly tugs on the face mask here. You just can't do that and get away with it. Check it out. Yep, there's the flag. Definite face mask. That's a personal foul. First down, both wide outs First to the right. From where I am now, 48 level. Wooden puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Wait a minute, we have a flag down on the plate. Let's get the call from the field. Pass interference, number 41, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Charlie Waters gets a little too physical with his man here. As you can see, he gets the flag for it too. Yeah, that's a good pass interference call. He was all over that receiver. First and ten from the Iron Man, 26 yards. good for a gain of eight. Dave Francis took on three defenders and still came away with the football. Oh, insane. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Snell takes it off the toss and passes the line. Tackled at the 14. First down, oh. and this First is the ten. seventh play of the drive. has his number called on first down and picks up a couple. It looks like we have an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Legarius Sharp just got tangled up on that last play, and you don't envy him right now. Woo! Got to keep adding to that highlight reel. Ha! 
spot for a touchdown. Touchdown, Zaylor. Pass complete to Martin. Late hit, number 25. Defense. Half the distance to the goal. Scott Poole hit the guy well after the whistle blew on that last play, Dan. That's unnecessary roughness, and his coach better come down hard on him. Jaeger is back for the point after. That's Joe on the hole. Here's the extra point, and it's good. The extra point is good. One. one downfield. Goal is coming out with it. Stop at the 22. Willie Gall took it out of the end zone and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20. So it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Iron Men offense takes the field and they will start at their own 22 yard line. Marino throws a heater right sideline and he connects for a pickup of four on the play. Dan Marino made a good, clean throw. That's a textbook play executed perfectly. How many times can this guy blast him downfield? He has been unstoppable today. Oh, it's like a war zone out there, Dan. The defense is just getting bombed right and left. 26 yards. up four yards and that will bring up third down third down with the tight end right Marino just rifles this one and they convert on third down. Dan Marino makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 314 yards and two touchdowns. for a first down. Marino throws a heater right sideline and the reception's made at the 36. Chase down at the 32. Plenty more. He's wondering if he slipped into the twilight zone or something because the coverage is in another dimension. Sad recognition by the defense. Somebody has got to step up on that side of the ball. Nice catch, Peter, and his stats reflect that. Definitely, Dan. He's now got 68 yards on five catches.
This one will fall incomplete. Pass interference. Number 39. Defense. The ball is placed. Cecil Scott slapped around the receiver way too much on that play, and the ref let him know it with a flag for pass interference. First and ten. Is this a great drive or what? From the Sailors, 25 yards. Whoa! Takes it off the toss and will lose about a yard here. Bryce Pop read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That will be his fourth tackle so far. What do you think of his performance, Peter? Solid game, Dan. Really carrying his sizable weight out there. McCormick makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Todd McCormick gets a hand on this one. Right there. That's how you play D. That'll give us a third down, and the defense was ready for that call. Well played, and a good job of not giving up the short pass. Third and 11 from the Sailor. 26 yards. Here we go. Here we go. Watch left. Watch left. Good, good, good. <laughs> Marino throws this one over the middle and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Yancey Bashir came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air and the offense is looking frustrated. The D is showing excellent fundamentals right here. Kite will come into a tenth field goal from the 26 yard. McKee will hold the kick. With the 43-yard attempt and barely misses this one off to the right. Keenan Kite misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but close only counts in horseshoes. The Sailors need to score here before the half to get some momentum. They'll start at their 34-yard line. gets the handoff and heads out right, tackled, and the clock will continue to run. Second and nine from the Sailor, 35 yards. Sailors take their first time up. Takes his fourth carry of the game and gets tackled short of the marker. Fourth down coming up. Scott Poole brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. That's his third tackle of the game. Stanley 
Bailey takes the long snap and punts it away. Galt fields the punt at the 18. Tackled at the 22. Willie Galt didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Iron Men take the field with the clock at 23. Wallace punches this one left of center and rambles for about five. Second down, and the clock is now at six. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Iron Men in command of this one, 31 to 7. Okay, Dan, let's get this halftime show started. What do you have for us? A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Iron Men are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Wallace would get up ahead of steam, and then it was clear sailing from here. A 21-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Iron Men get the first points of the game and go up by seven. Midway through the first, knocking at the door. Wallace got the carry here, and he comes through. A one-yard touchdown for the home team. Towards the end of the first quarter, the Iron Men ahead by 14. Jones is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way, and he's able to get his hands on this one and picks it off. The Iron Men end of the first quarter. Clark was definitely a key player as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 78-yard touchdown for the home team. The Iron Men out in front, 21 to nothing. Ditka was definitely a key player as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. An 89-yard touchdown for the home team. The Iron Men moving ahead big and now lead by 28. After driving 40 yards on five plays, Kite would be summoned for the long field goal try and his kick would be right through. The Iron Men connect on the field goal. Late into the second quarter, the Sailors down by 31. Manning connected with his man on this one. And that will do it. The Iron Men are up big at halftime, 31 to 7. Nice job, Dan. The Iron Men will get the ball first here in the second half, and they are dominating this game. Currently, they are up large, 31 to 7. Let's get down to the field and the action. Jager boots the second half kickoff away. Gold decides to take it out of the end zone. <clears throat> Tackled at the 22. Willie Gold took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Iron Men are really in command and have yet another shot to score. Their offense takes the field and starts this drive at their own 22-yard line. Marino throws a bullet to the flat and it's complete at the 23. Drag down at the 25. Adele Shakir had nobody on him and when the quarterback saw that, he quickly shot him the ball. This has been quite a clinic on how to execute a short passing attack. Great job by the quarterback of hitting his receivers in stride so they can continue to advance the ball with their legs after the catch. Second down, three wideouts in the game. his number called on second down and maybe picks up one on the play. Eddie Wallace didn't get very far on that last play and he even had the help of some blocking. 
I guess the defense had their number. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. From Lord Ironman, 26 yards. Marino fires this one over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Gain of eight yards on the play. First down, Ironman. Plenty more. Sees that he's singled out there and does just enough in that pattern to gain separation. Oh, he knew where he had to be and got his hands in position to haul that one in. This guy can really twist up the coverage in that short area. That's right, Dan. Those quick routes have been open for him all day. Obviously, that's what the defense wants to give him. Ditka catches the left sideline and is at the 45. Eventually shoved out at the 43. First down. 23 on the play. First down, Iron Man. Get set. Come on, let's go. Get in your stance. Marino throws a bullet to the flat, and the catch is made for a gain of a couple. Dan Marino made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. Dan, that shows you that a lot of bullets can amount to as much or more than one big cannon shot. Well, he's forcing the deep coverage up a little more right. each short Second pass. The D better stay on their toes. They might get tricked. Third and two. Marino lobs this one way over the middle, and it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Stephen Gates stays down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. He was shut out the first half, but with that catch, he gets an opportunity to make up for it here in the third. He ran a great route and gave his quarterback a nice target to throw to. That's textbook. Snyder makes the catch out to the left and picks up four on the play. Dan Marino threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. Well, I, I don't know if any defensive adjustments were made at halftime, Peter. I sure can't tell. <laughs> this quarterback just knows how to make everyone play his game. In his third great quarter, he's still forcing the D to play by reaction, Dan, which takes control right out of their hands. Picks up the first down. First down, Iron Man. We gotta start putting up a better fight. Let's tough it up. First and goal. Wow, I like the running duo in the backfield here. They'll try and pound it in. Wallace gets the call again and will end up losing a couple. Lathon Fontenot targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his third tackle of the game. Second and goal from the Sailors. Five yards. Jones penetrates and makes the stop at the eight. 
Phil Jones got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Good defense that's forced two losses in a row. Third and goal from the Sailor, eight yard. Goal takes the catch, touchdown! Ironman pass complete to Goal. Willie Goal faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. This is a take-no-prisoners kind of guy when he is in the red zone. Oh, after piling up some good yardage on the day, he makes a big play here for a score. Back for the point after. McKee will hold the kick. Now the point after, and it's good. It's a boomer down the field. Renfro decides to take it out of the end zone. Dives the tackle, stopped at the 24. Mel Renfro took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Sailors, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 24-yard line. Anderson picks up about two, and that brings up second down. He picks up two yards on the play. Morrison credited with the tackle. Second and seven. I'm checking counter. I'm checking counter. Rhino, Rhino, we <laughs> Snell will get the carry on second down and maybe picks up one on the play. Matt Snell used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Is it on the left side, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. First down, Sailors. Otis Anderson makes the catch with three defenders on his case. I just don't know why uh, the throw was made into triple coverage. Hey, it worked. Yes, it did. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. <laughs> Snell gets the call on first down and picks up a couple. Snell with the carry. A pickup of two yards on the play. Morrison credited with the tackle. Second and eight. Ball at the 39 yard line. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Manning throws this on the rope, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. 15 on the play. First down, Sailor. Whoa! That's a first down! First down, one man back. First and ten. Ball at the 46 yard line.
Martin pulls down the floater out left, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. First down, Taylor. Archie Manning makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. Again, he uses the middle of the field to advance the football. And uh -huh. Dan, why not? Well, they, they found some seams, some crease right in the middle, and, well, they feel they can take advantage of it at any time. Tracks him down for a loss at the 24. Now with the carry, Wooden credited with the tackle for a loss of three on the play. Frank Wooden keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. Pow! Oh, that's got to hurt. That's his third tackle of the game. Second and 13 from the Sailor 24 yards. Jensen hauls it in right side and loses yards on that one. Charlie Waters targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got five tackles. Manning throws this one right side line and not. However, it's short of the markers. That will bring up fourth down. Corey Webb forced his man out back there, allowed some yards, yes, but stopped them short of the markers. They stopped them cold, fourth coming up. Exactly what this defense needed to do. No points here! Bust to the line, block his kick! Four on the play clock. Jager kicks from 39 yards out, and it's good! Jeff Jager sends it whizzing between the goal posts for a field goal straight down the pike. Jager booms one downfield. Gull decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks the tackle. Back down at the 24. Really, Gull took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. men offense takes the field and they have been very effective through the air we'll see what happens as we start this drive at their own 24 yard line Ditka reels in the football and gains a couple Mike Ditka had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make the catch. These guys make very great targets. Not to mention, it takes a whole defense to bring them down. Well, let me tell you something, Dan. When that bull starts roaming around in that china shop, things get broken pretty fast. Wallace picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up third down. Wallace, tackle made by Hawkins, no gain on the play. Third and six, ball at the 27 yard. Eventually tackled at the 50. It will be first down. He picks up 23 on the play. 
Mike Ditko is in man-to-man -man coverage on this play and makes the most of it. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a great catch. That guy has real skills. This guy has been pretty much unstoppable this contest. You might think uh, you have him covered, but you don't. That's absolutely right, Dan. Solid effort from whistle to whistle. If the D doesn't step up now, they might not get a chance later on. First down, 10 yards to go. Marino fires this one over the middle and the reception's made at the 40 and he's stopped right there. Scott with the tackle. Second in inches. Wallace takes it off the toss and gets past the line. Tackled at the 39. Gain of one on play. First down, Ironman. First and ten from the Sailor, 39 yards. Marino lets it go down the right side, and somehow the receiver holds onto the ball for the first down. Mike Ditka has a small crowd of defenders working him, and yet still makes the catch. There's the catch, and there were three guys around him. They say bad things come in threes, but that didn't seem like that was bad at all. Maybe mildly annoying, but definitely not bad. It takes a lot of courage to make your living over the middle, I'll tell you, but we've seen him there several times today. Yeah, that's a guy who's willing to sacrifice his body to make it <laughs> Kelly Simmons comes in untouched on this play and just wallops the quarterback. Where was the O-line? Did they just give up? Oh, yeah, the quarterback's going to be pointing some fingers on that one. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the Second ball well behind the original oh, line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Marino zips it to the left sideline and he's on target for a gain of five. Oh yeah! I'm gonna be able to take a break today if it's gonna to be this easy. Moore grabs the rope right side and is at the 15, stopped at the 13. Jones with the tackle. That will bring up fourth down. Phil Jones let his man get some yards on this play, but then he stopped him before the marker. Check it out. Yeah, he saved the play by tackling him before the markers. Otherwise, who knows how far he would have gotten. That will be his fourth tackle, and he's hitting hard out there in the secondary. Well, he's making them think twice before going his direction. 13 yard line. McKee will hold the kick. Tight from 30 yards out, and this one is up and in. Keenan Kite has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Iron Men in command of this one, 41 to 10.
It's a boomer down the field. Renfro decides to take it out of the end zone. Stopped at the 20. Mel Renfro got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Sailors came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Jensen gets the toss and runs into traffic. Nichols takes him down back at the 16. Tony Nichols read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. He now has five tackles in the game. From the Sailor, 16-yard line. Anderson goes right up the middle and picks up a couple. Manning throws a high, long one to the right. And it's tipped incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Charlie Waters turned his hips to get into position and tipped that ball away. Solid coverage. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Stanley gets the ball and punts it away. Galt balls it in at the 42. Tackled at the 48. Willie Galt got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Iron Men start this one on the center logo at their 48-yard line. Wallace will get the handoff and maybe picks up one on the play. By Wallace. Tackle made by Cole. No gain on the play. Showtime. Second and nine. Ball at the 49 yard line. Gets the ball again and rambles for about five. Wallace with the carry. A pickup of five on the play. McCormick credited with the tackle. Third and four from the Sailors. 46 yard line. Marino throws a heater right sideline and they convert on third down. The last attack was complete to Moore. He picks up 11 on the play. First down, Iron Man. Plenty Moore is all alone out there and he takes full advantage. Where's the coverage? Well, that's good concentration because sometimes the most open looks are the easiest to drop. He hasn't lost anything here, even into the fourth. That is a well-conditioned athlete. Well, he definitely put the crunch on the D with solid numbers in every quarter. What a one-man wrecking crew. Goal didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. 
Willie Galt was so wide open on that last play. What a shame he didn't catch the ball. That's got to hurt. That falls incomplete, but it would have been a minimal gain had they completed it anyway. Second and ten. Hawkins takes the sack at the 40. He loses five on the play. This is a big one, boys. We need to stop. Hype it up. Hype it up. Great. Third and 14. Renfro makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Mel Renfro read that one right out of the receiver's break and denied it. Yet another big play by this defense. That was their fifth batted ball today. Yeah, you can see them start to anticipate the path of the throw the minute the quarterback winds up. Berger gets ready Renfro to punt it away. Berger takes the long snap and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Robert Berger saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The Sailors are on the field and they have not produced well at all. They're looking for an answer as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Jensen carries it for the sixth time and heads left, tackled at the 29. Eric Martin made a very, very nice block back there downfield. I love to see a wide receiver getting involved like that. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. of the game and picks up the first down. First down, tight end to the left. Call again, and Noli gets back to the line of scrimmage. Kevin Tuipala read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. He's been working hard so far. That's his eighth tackle. And each one of those eight left a bruise. That guy can hit. for the loss back at the 30. Charlie Waters got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's tackle number six for him. Good game so far. Oh, definitely. Third and 12 from the Sailor 30 yard. Snags the dart right sideline, and he will be well short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Joey Holt comes up short here. Not a good play. It's worth a second look. He goes out of bounds before the marker. That's a bad decision. They get some yards out of that play, but they are short. Yeah, didn't get quite the punch they wanted to. Stanley 
gets the snap and punts it away. Gall fields the punt at the 24. Jukes brought down at the 37. Willie Gall racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Iron Men send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 37-yard line. Marino throws a heater, and he's on target for a gain of five. Dan Marino made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over right. again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Wallace picks up six on the play, and that will bring up first down. Eddie Wallace can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Griffin will get the carry on first down and gets the first and more. Finally stopped at the 10. And check out all the yards he snarfs up here. Yes, snarfs. That's an old football term. <laughs> Tell you what, though, this is a great play. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Bryce Pop read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Peter, he's definitely doing his job on the D-line this game. Yet another big tackle added to his stats. A big man playing big. The 18. Lost hole. Seven on the play. Paul Fleming gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, D Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. That'll be his first sack of the game. 18 yard line. Moore grabs the bullet and he's looking for room. Tackle at the 10. Scott was in on the tackle. A flag is thrown on the plate. Let's see what it is. Roughing the passer, number 92, defense. Half the distance to the ball, automatic first down. Kenny White rocked the quarterback's cradle after the ball left his hand, so he drew the flag for roughing the passer. They're going to call that one every time. Here we go, guys. I jokers, weak toss. Look alive, baby. Break! First and goal from the Sailors. Five yard line. Down! Sit! There ain't no comeback play for you. Win! Win! I'm back! I'm back! <laughs> 
Wallace takes it off the toss and gets past the line. Breaks free. Eddie Wallace gives the defense nada to grab onto with this awesome spin move. Just goes to show you don't always have to bulldoze your way through. Nope, a well-timed spin or a juke or something, and they can't lay a finger on you. Phenomenal game for him so far, Peter. He surprised everyone by getting into the end zone this month. Oh, what a game! Here's the extra point, and it's good. It's a boomer down the field. Renfro downs it for a touchback. The Sailors have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 20-yard line. Anderson picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Gain of two yards on the play. Waters credited with the tackle. Second down from the eye. From the sailor, 22 yard line. Snell gets the call on second down and will lose about a yard here. From the sailor, 21 yard line. Martin grabs the fastball over the middle, and he will be short of the markers. That will bring up fourth down. Lido Setzer managed to take him down before he got to the markers, but whew, it was close. They allow a little there, but they do force a fourth down. Way to attack the ball. Manning zings it to the right side, and it's caught at the 31, and he's stopped right there. The Sailor, 31 yards. Pascal makes the nice catch, and that will be good for a gain of eight. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Autry Crutchfield never gave his assignment any wiggle room and was able to prevent a completion. You know, it's all about blanket coverage, and that, my friends, was exactly what we saw back there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Right, good denial there. Second down coming up. Zips it to the left sideline, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. 13 on the play. First down, Sailors. Eric Martin makes a good gain here and gets past the marker. Nice execution. Let's have a look. Well, he got what he needed, and then he went out of bounds. Nice play. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. 
First and You're ten. not going Three. anywhere. Iron Man, 37 yards. Martin catches it over the middle, and he's in for the score. Eric Martin shows here why he's so dangerous after the catch. Great burst after he gets his hands on it. Oh, and there he goes. Unbelievable talent. This guy has earned his team big points today. That's why he's such a key player. Yeah, he knows how to make himself available in that part of the field, scoring his second touchdown of this contest. To the point after, this draw will hold the kick. the extra point and it's good. The point is good. Jager bounces it up there. Shakir collects it at the 42. Tackled at the 40. Ball will be placed around the 40 yards. Adele Shakir is quick to react when the onside kick comes bouncing his way. Watch him move. And get the football before the kicking team has a shot. It's all about reflexes. They can't bring down the onside kick. Pretty aggressive play calling there, though. Well, the offense is like a one in four chance of recovering uh -huh. those, but they knew the risks. The Iron Men take the field and will probably look to take time off the clock. They'll start at the 40 yard line. Wallace takes the handoff and heads up field. Brought down at the 34. Wallace with the carry. He picks up six yards on the play. Cole credited with the tackle. Great. Second and three from the Sailors. 34-yard line. Golf carries this one off to the right and picks up a couple. Bryce Paul brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. That's his ninth tackle of the game. Two minute warning. Third down, and they line up with three tight ends. Wallace takes it off the toss and passes the line. The Sailors take their first time up. First down, Iron Man. The entire offense flicked on that play, Dan. Big yards from the runner because he knew where he was going at all times. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. First down, the clock is stopped at 1.56. Griff, the Sailors, will take a timeout. That's their second. Pick up a three on the play. Cole credited with the tackle. Let's 
Second down, two tight ends in the game. their final one. Nick Cole targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Another tackle and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating Dan. So far he's got six tackles. Griffin has his number called on third down and heads out right. Tackled and the clock will continue to run. It'll be first and goal. Run, pass, or even a quarterback sneak. All options here. McKean takes a knee and the clock will tick down. Second and goal from the Sailors' four-yard line. Yeah! Say oh, you ain't running on me! You ain't running on me! Run! McKean takes a knee, and that will do it. And that is going to do it for this one. The Iron Men come out on top, 48 to 17. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. That was an exciting game. So let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Ditka had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. A 23-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Ironmen moving ahead big and now lead by 31. The Sailors midway through the third, all at the 47. Manning would find his target on this one. That set up a 40-yard field goal. Towards the end of the third quarter, the Ironmen up by 28. Marino went to work on third down and he was able to find his man. They have opened it up and now lead by 31. The Ironmen, middle of the fourth. Griffin would make the first guy miss and then he'd rip off a chunk of yardage here. A 24-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Ironmen ahead 48 to 10. Manning is back to throw, and this is nothing more than a little pitch and catch with his wide receiver. A 37-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Sailors finally get on the board and are now down by 31. Late into the fourth quarter, the Ironmen on offense at the 27. Griffin got the carry as they stayed on the ground on third down, and he'd make it pay off. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. And that's where we'll have to leave this one. The Ironmen serve up a blowout, 48 to 17. And now for our 2K Sports Player of the Game. Dan Marino proved once again why he's one of the best. Well, he was the best player on the winning team. It's as simple as that. We'll see if he's able to keep up this high level of play in the games ahead. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.